Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the La Mer Skin Tint. Is it worth it? We're gonna find out. Let's get this beauty started. I just wanna make sure before we jump into the video that you know about my newsletter. This is how I communicate with you. This is how I let you know about really great, exciting news. We have so much going on in 2023. So I wanted to make sure that you knew that it's on the website, it's a pop-up, and we also introduced text messaging. So you can sign up for text messages, you get them right on your phone. We also have a little promo that if you do sign up for text messaging, you get 10% off your order. So ladies, let's get into the video. I am going to add my base layer of my perfume. This is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. I gotta tell you, I get so many compliments on this and I know you might be thinking, Nicole, I don't know if I wanna smell like leather. I'm telling you, you should try this, smell it when you're at the store the next time. I put that as my base and then I'll spritz my rose. <laughs> my rose, any of the array of rose perfumes I have, it's such a great combination. That is something wonderful to do, ladies, is that you can create your own fragrance by layering fragrances. I do it all the time, I love it. So we are going to get into this skin tint. I've been wanting to buy the La Mer skin tint for a long time. I've been doing so many different reviews this year on different formulations when it comes to foundations, and I want you to know, all kinds of drugstore, all kinds of department store, the price range is all over the place, ladies, because I am hitting drugstore, Yes, I'm hitting department store. Yes, I'm, I'm going a little bit about the department store sometimes. This is really interesting to me because I fell in love with the La Mer Serum Foundation back, I think it was 2016. It was not supposed to happen because it's very expensive. And I was at Nordstrom and I was on my way out and they happened to have, like, I think they just relaunched the foundations. I don't know. She's like, oh, let me give you a sample, the sales lady. And I was like, oh, I don't like it. Plus the price is like a little bit of a turnoff. So of course I tried it, fell in love with it. Hence, it started my whole obsession with serum foundations, because you know that I'm a big serum foundation lover. And so this is a soft fluid longwear foundation, broad spectrum SPF 20. I use 110 shell. So I did do a dupe on this with a foundation I found at the drugstore. It took me forever to find it. And of course they discontinued it. So of course now we're back on the mission, but I haven't had time to do that again. If you want me to leave a comment below and I will spend my time looking for a really great dupe. It's very hard though. You know, formulations are not, you can't just duplicate. We can get similar. It's not going to really be duplicated, but just so you know, I did do a blog post that showed you cost per wear. So if you love something and it really really makes your skin look amazing and you feel incredible. That's the whole point, right ladies? The confidence, like you feel great and it lasts you. This lasts me four months, maybe four and a half. I literally use one pump. Also, I unscrew it when I can't pump anymore out when I'm at the very bottom and I will stick my little spatty daddy. That is the name of the product. If you do not know what this is, I will link below. It is like a long, skinny spatula that fits right in here and you can take out all of the rest of your product. Now I will cut product, you know, on the tube to get the rest out. That's easy. But these glass jars are always so challenging. And so I use my spatty daddy. They come in a duo. One's really long and skinny. And then there's a shorter one. Listen, if you don't know and you buy it, you better tell me because you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I can get all my product now. This is amazing. This is what the package looks like. It's just typical La Mer. It's very simple and, and sleek. Then you have the product itself. Now I'm very surprised at this product because you can see that it looks terrible as you work your way through this product. For me, I don't like this packaging. I was a little surprised about it, but for 110, which is what this costs, you're getting 1.5 four full ounces. The reviews are mixed on Sephora. I'm going to kind of give you what the star rating is, but then you just take it off and it's in like a little squeeze tube here. So nothing too fancy, which I was surprised about for the price, but this is going to be the little breakdown of what you can expect. They have six colors for you. So People had complained about having a smaller range, but again, it's a skin tint. So I don't feel like you need a ton of different colors. It's more forgiving than an actual real foundation. So it is a hydrating tinted moisturizer, brightens skin with a natural dewy glow. Who is it for? Ideal for those with dry, normal combination or oily skin types. So that's great, pretty much covers everyone. What it does, it has a broad spectrum SPF 30. So that means it is a chemical sunscreen. It does have titanium dioxide in it, but I wasn't thrilled about the chemical sunscreen aspect 
aspect of it. And it has antioxidants that help protect from environmental stressors such as pollution that can age the look of the skin. The look of lines are diminished, promoting a smooth, plump, and hydrated appearance. So basically you're going to use this, smooth it over after you're applying your moisturizer. Again, it's paraben-free, phthalate-free, sulfite-free. It had 3.8 out of 5 stars over on Nordstrom. They only had 40 reviews. Now over on Sephora, they had a little bit more reviews for this product, which I was really kind of surprised. I thought we would have more maybe on Nordstrom, but we had 4.1 stars. They had 150 reviews on Sephora. You know, a lot of people were like, it's worth the investment for me. Some were like, well, I don't know. I thought I expected more from La Mer, especially for the price. The color I got or I bought was light medium 32. And it's interesting because of course they're different formulations, but I wasn't sure how this was going to relate to what I'm used to with the shell, which is more of like this kind of pinky peach undertone to it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like swatched on the skin. Comes out really nice, doesn't over dispense. And you have a nice kind of creamy texture, which I really like. So I feel like it's going to be nice and moisturizing. I don't feel like it's going to be greasy. This is very interesting because, you know, I reviewed the Jones Road Balm, which is a totally different experience. And we went into depth in that video. Then I reviewed the Gucci Westman complexion drops, which I really, really wanted to love. I was just so disappointed because it, I just didn't feel that it was really a realistic product for anybody. And I did a full review on that one. The packaging is beautiful right? It's really beautiful. It's just, you know, very sleek, what have you. It just couldn't believe how greasy and like just how it sat on the skin. So this is what you would really expect from a skin tint. There's no surprises. This is what the light medium looks like. The number 32. I think it looks really nice for a swipe. So let's not use the brush right now. Let's use the finger so we can really feel the texture. We can feel right away, feel hydration. I feel like it is really hydrating the skin. What's interesting is, is that I feel like it's really just soaking into the skin right away. I don't feel like it's, it's almost like gripping the skin. I didn't put anything on my skin first. I really wanted just to feel what this felt like right away. So I'm going to put on, on this side, let's go over this redness. We have no concern sealer on or anything like that right now, but we are getting really great hydration. It slips nicely on the skin. Not too much. I didn't do that much of it. And I feel like we're getting a really nice application with the fingers moving around the face. I'm going to take a little bit more and put it on my neck so we can kind of work everything in to together. So looking at my skin, I definitely feel that this warmed it up. Could I do light? Maybe, but I don't know because we need to make sure that there's no real demarcation. I don't know underneath, the, underneath these lights, maybe that I do need the step up lighter. I kind of do like that it's kind of warming up my skin a little bit. So this is really a nice skin tint. If you're looking for something that has that SPF 30, you're wanting something that really does kind of even out the skin tone. I'm going to do a couple call outs again that they had said when it comes to just what it's doing. So this tint uses a veil of color to leave fine, dry lines looking plumped and hydrated. So I do feel it gives you that plumpy kind of feel to the skin. I feel like I like that dewiness. It's a little bit more like hotter on the skin, which I'm surprised about. And it also has lime tea concentrate to help guard against skin environmental aggressors. I think that overall it's 110. So I just looked to see what my serum foundation is because when I first started using it, it was 110. Then it went to 115, then 120. And I just looked and it's 140. So I feel between the two, and this really wasn't a comparison between the two because they're completely different in the sense that skin tint, serum foundation, I have to tell you, I would go for the serum foundation and I would just leave this alone. I find it to be a very high price for what it is. I feel that a lot of the skin tints we've tested this year together, you could find an alternative. Like I feel like they're giving a lot of great benefits and qualities. I've researched and reviewed on my channel this year. Again, you can go to my beauty 2022. I've categorized my videos so you can check that out. I think that this is a little excessive for a skin tint price-wise. So I would go into, even though it's 140, again, you use such little of this product that you can spread it over the face. It really is beautiful. I use it on my mom in one of her videos that I can link below. Just 
really flawless on the skin. I do feel that this La Mer foundation, the serum foundation is worth it because I've used it for years and years and years and it's never disappointed. But the skin tint, I don't feel is really worth you investing in when we've done multiple different other skin tints like the CoverGirl one, that fresh milk or the skin milk that was really beautiful. I feel like that's really the way to go if you're looking for that really fresh look and not having to have such a high expense. So I really wanted to review that. I've had some questions about this product and I think it's really important for you to know. So until my next video, I'll see you later.